Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there, folks, and welcome you all to some more RPG fun, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. This was a PS3, Xbox 360 game, for those who may not have seen it before. It came out as Dragon's Dogma originally, and then there was another variation of it called re-released as Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Same game, effectively, but with more content on it. And when it was re-released, it was slightly cheaper as well, so you didn't have to play full whack for it. I think you could download the Dark Arisen stuff separately as well if you already had the game, but I can't remember. However, it was nice to see them remaster it. It was a good RPG, and it looked decent enough on the PS3. And I'm sure the 360 as well, but I'm looking forward to seeing just how crisp and nice it looks on the PS4. So let's dig in, shall we? This game uses an autosave function like most do now. You'll have to excuse my, uh, if I sound congested, I, I have a cold, people. I shall try not to sniff and slurry my way through it. Select initial game settings. You can also change these settings in the options menu. It's in the reasonable. Uh, adjust brightness to suit your display. The A image should be visible, B should be barely visible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> On my TV, I've got to put it all the way up. Oh well, we'll give it give it full whack and say we're gone. <clears throat> Select your desired online setting. Uh, main porn online access. That's porn. P A W N people. <laughs> uh, offline porn online access. No one. Anyone. Friends only. I think we'll have. Will we? No. Anyone. Inverted access off, yes, off. Off. Subtitles display off. Cutscene subtitles off. Normal mode, I think so. We can always tweak it later. Main menu. Uh, I think we'll avoid hard mode for now. New game. A vast army formed to slay a dragon, the ultimate incarnation of evil. God, you got to be quick to read that. In another place, another life, another child of man blazes your path. Dark it's got. Have you a light source? Using a lantern will hold darkness at bay. Click to open your inventory. Very nice. Curatives, tools, there we go. Use. Nice. Okay, so we've got draw. Nice. Grab. Heavy attack, light attack, jump. Seems reasonable. The dragon's roost is just beyond. We should hurry. Wow. It's panning nicely. Check that out. Looks gorgeous. Very nice indeed. All right, let's go, fella. I always love it when they give you the sheathing and unsheathing function. Oh, thank you. Press square or triangle to attack. Yes, got it. L1 to block. Nice. We near our journey's end. I think you can uh, think you can lock on as well, if I remember rightly. Oh hello. Dragon It shows itself. Holy shit. Nice. Attack! 
<laughs> nice. Easy. Invoking this stone can gain you new allies. Watch your step. The pawn stone. Tis a rift stone, a stone etched with strange markings. How do? It's the people that live in the sky. Hey, it's a cute girl. She brought a grandma with her. Hey! <laughs> nice. It looks brilliant, doesn't it? Looks very nice indeed. Characters look good as well. Use the D-pad to issue basic orders to your pawn allies. Go! On my way! Nice. To arms! Nice. Oh, easy. Block, Steven. Quick. Easy. Didn't get there in time. Green Warish. Nice work. Nice. Healing the party there, Morgana. Twas the feet of countless pilgrims first beat down this road to the temple. Potion. Stay ever ready as we advance. Are there no other survivors? <laughs> oh, hello. Green rash. I th I'm assuming that's uh, going to be a healing herb. Healing herbs. Come, master. And again. There are no other survivors. Oh, blimey. You can dash by clicking L3 both during it and outside of combat. Whoa. I grant you fire! <laughs> Already taking care of it. Hello, who are you? Come, master. I'm coming. I like how she calls me master. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? More bodies. The <laughs> oh, harpies maybe. There, master. Snow harpies. Yeah. Provoke it. I'll hold it. Attack quickly. Hold it. A flying hold beast it. arisen. Nice. <laughs> nice. Barge move. Oh, hello. They've been down here a while. I think the uh, side characters could also pick up stuff in this game, which was nice at times, but annoying at others. Oh, blimey neck. A few of them down there. It's not what I meant to do, is it? Bro. Nice. 
<laughs> nice. Let's make use of these explosives. Woo! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Don't think I was meant to do that, was I? I'll provoke it! Alright. Nice. Strength in numbers arisen. Strength in numbers arisen. Another one. Nice. Slay them before they can use their voice. Do them down and strike. The hell, how many of these things are there? Oh, hello. <clears throat> Survivors, let's join them. Rain steel upon it. All right, that's how he's doing it. Don't let them drag you off. Yeah, so you hold that and do a. Well, you can do a shield strike. Nice. Our goal is ahead. Symbol attack. Arisen, this way, sir. The worm awaits, Beyonce. I should be proud to guide you. We'd hidden away here for fear of the beasts all around. Stay ever ready as we with you. Beasts all around us. This way, sir! We cannot suffer the worm to work any further atrocities. Our army is routed. It is plain truth. Beyond that grand door, the dragon makes its roost. Stay ever ready as we advance. Alright. The giant door then. Oh, hello. Oh. Half lion, half goat. Oh. Nice knowing you, friend. And I think he's done for, people. You shall not pass! Here we go. Nice. Go on. Ooh. <laughs> Brilliant. Cut the head of the snake. Nice. It's a great thing about this game, you climb on the massive creatures and get stuck in. Have it! Bloody hell, nearly got him already. Aim for the head! Up! Oh, Easy! Come on. <laughs> Get up to the head. Come on. Ooh, blimey. The stamina runs out, I think, the more you're on it. Easy. Yeah. Run out of stamina. Where's he 
Where's he gone? Come on, you. On the head. Have it. Woo -hoo -hoo. It. it be dead. Nice. Lucky is the pawn able to fight. Now choose flee or step forth. Take hold of what lies beyond. Claim mastery over the eternal ring. What? That was just a massive tutorial, by the way. Woohoo! Trophy time! A countless lifetimes come to pass. Yeah, I'm not reading that. Harpies for lunch. Blimey, eh? Stuck up on consumable items while you have the chance. All right, bit of bit of making character time. Right, we're gonna go male or female. I think I played this as males last time. Um. Should we do female? Let's do female, so we're going with that. <clears throat> Invalid characters will be changed to asterisks. Really? Uh, we'll go with our default name for the ladies, if I play as ladies. Your moniker will display for players with parental controls enabled. All oh, right, okay. So you could do with picking one of these, really, couldn't you? Sarah, Sasha, Saya. Shinra. Quite a few names in here, Mac. Sophia. 
two types of Sophia as it happens. Might as well make them the same, eh? I don't know if it says the names. Let's soon find out. Build. Blimey, she looks quite feisty, doesn't she? Bit of a beast. She's a bit of a bow woman, that one. Might go bow, actually. I think I went distance characters on this last time. Loads to choose from. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, she's quite good, isn't she? Elvish. Shall we get one with the elves? Ooh, hello. Beast! Height is 178. It's quite tall. 171. One seven three, probably a, bit, a little bit smaller. Uh, not sure now. Too many to choose from, people. But she's really little, isn't she? This one or this one? Select a voice. Oh, hang on. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, Edit basic information, make more detailed edits. Uh, uh, test voice, that's it. Category you'd like to change, open the think we're good to go. Today, like every day, waves gently lap at the shore near your tiny village. <laughs> That's the problem with quick loading screens, people, you don't get to read anything. She's a cutie. Hear ye, hear ye. The prophets have spoken, friends. The dragon's return is nigh. Join the honorable duke's ranks and help us be rid of the fell beast. The day's come to lay down rod and reel and take up the sword.
What the bloody hell was that? <laughs> Go on. Save it. <laughs> oh, I think they're fried toasties. Climb on it for some reason. <laughs> yeah, as if I'm going to defeat this with a bloody one sword. <laughs> Can't see me character. Have it on the leg. Take the calf out. That went well. Wow, surgeon skills are pretty good on that dragon. And there it beginneth. That's going to leave a mark. Take a 
Take up arms, is it? Let me decide what I'm going to be. It is time for you to begin your journey as Arisen. But before you can win your heart back from the dragon, you'll need to prepare. Take a weapon. Your vocation determines your basic attributes, wieldable equipment and skills. Yeah, I might go with a sort of Strider character. Get the old double daggers in the bow, rather than have to be up, up close all the time. Looks good in the old kit though, doesn't it? Swords, shields, basic irrigation, melee specialist with attacks and counter-attacks able to cut through any resistance. Daggers, bows, basic vocation. This nimble warrior can both mount and attack foes and use a bow to strike from afar. Staves, weapon staves, basic vocation. A conjurer of magics to heal wounds and target elemental weaknesses. I'm going to go with the old bow and daggers, I think. Nice. You can equip yourself with a primary and secondary weapon. Primary weapons such as swords and daggers are combat essentials. Secondary weapons like bows and shields offer support. Uh... I'm not sure how to equip my bow. Oh, there we go. Nice. Sweet. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. It's all coming back to me now. It was nice of me to get a bed and they got uh, to sleep on the floor. You say it left a glowing scar? Yes. The wound has closed. And it seems the worst has passed, but her heart lies silent. If you would face me, you are sure of this? Yes. Ill magic, the work of some curse. The whole world's already gone mad for fear of this. This place is cursed. <laughs> no good come of this. I must go see to the others, Kina. Tell me if all changes here. All right. <laughs> Defeating foes and completing quests earns you experience, and each level gained raises all of your attributes. Plus options to begin... Uh, to bring up the pause menu where you can check your attributes, a full map, quest information, and more. Quest equipment. Nice. Yeah, well, I don't think we need that anymore, do we? Level one. Right, so if we look at our quests, we don't have any looks of it. You should be abed. I wish you would not strain yourself so. I am worried for you, cuz. 
Oh, it's my cousin. That's right, yeah. Right, let us be outside then. Nice. That's food, I assume. I really didn't want to pick up this. Oh, no, I didn't. Herbs. Okay. Let's do this. Casardis. You progress through the game by completing quests. Always talk with people you meet. They'll surely give you shit. People who bear an icon above their head possess special information. Those bearing green icons have new quests to offer. A game where you can go in and out of places without a loading screen. Lovely. Allow me to be thievering all over the place. Oh, it's you. Yep. The one that stood against the dragon when he sat on the village. I hear fearsome tell of your wounds. Is there aught I can do for you? Is there aught you can do for me? This is awful. Worse than I feared. Purchase equipment and useful items from the shops or wandering merchants you encounter on your travels. I don't have any money though, do man you are speaking with. He's of the Pawn Legion. They come from some unknown place, just appear without a warning. They are a strange lot. Not human, quite. They look the part, sure enough, but they lack the will, the spark what drives us. They have no capacity to feel nor act alone, so they live as sellsorts. Myrmidons, they're called. Hmm. There's an encampment west of the village, where men gather to face the dragon. I'd wager a fair number of his kind will be there as well. Why don't you take him? Might be you learn aught of why he came to you in the first place. Before leaving, visit the store to make sure you've ample supplies. People with red icons appearing over their heads have information relevant to your priority quest. If you have several quests ongoing at the same time, you can set one as priority in the quest section of the pause menu. Doing so will make all people, places and things relevant to the priority quest appear prominently on your minimap. Pawns in your party will also offer advice for the priority quests more often than for the quests in your log. That pawn will be looking to head west to the encampment, no doubt. Why don't you see him there? He'll not make the trip on his own. His kind will rot where they stand, unless a human orders them to move. 
Seems reasonable. Purchasing equipment here in Cassidis will make for a safer trip to the encampment. Um. What? Do you need something? Seems not. Now I'm pretty sure that there are little quests around the town, so I'll look around. I think this is a shop here. It seems this place oh, deals in arms hello. and general supplies. It's a mercy so much of the village was spared. I only wish I had more to offer. And oh, I've got two thousand gold. Sweet. So weapons. Quite pricey, some of it. Ooh, capes. They can't afford one of them. Traveller's tights, I say. I think those are the ones I've got on, are they? No, they're not, as it happens. Defense is 81, magic defense is 74. In fact, let's have a look at the tops first. Eighty-two seventy-six, eighty-three seventy-seven. 76, 83, 77. It's just better all round, isn't it? Why is it always the one you like the most that's not the one that's actually the best? Mind you, that's well expensive, isn't it? There's that one for that matter. Take one of them. I'm not wearing that, people. Come on now. Don't mind wearing that, though. Hands. It's like having a couple of saucers attached to your elbows. Funny bone guards. Well expensive. Scholar's bangle. 960. Eight, 86 and 93 though. Pretty sweet, isn't it? I don't see how that's short pants. Can't get a new bow at the minute anyway. Uh, 
ね。79, 81 and 75. Can't afford them anyway. Wow. <coughs> oh, I forgot about him. <laughs> Didn't buy him anything. Never mind. Can you switch between buy and sell here? I don't know if you can. There we go. That's what I'm wearing, isn't it? what I'm wearing. Yeah, be careful here because uh, you can actually sell what you're wearing by the looks of it. I only wish I had more to yeah. That's a bit weird because I'm sure I told it to put this, the new stuff on but it doesn't seem to have done, does it? Oh, right, there's clothing and armour. Two different things. All right, check us out. Whoop, whoop. Right, I think we're uh, good to go, yeah? seeing any of the quests on the map. Hang on a sec. Where's the... Uh... After accepting a quest, first note the quest marker on your map, then continue by searching for the required items or information. Quest markers will vary based on time, location and your target's actions. If, you, if you've come to an impasse in one quest, why not try progressing through another? You may find a solution to your initial problem. All right, so the only thing on the map at the minute, quest-wise, seems to be oh, really? Oh, that's good. You can have multiple quest uh, waypoints. It's not often you see that on a map. What's that? That where we started? Yeah. Alright, I was sure that there was quests to pick up before you went out, but it uh, doesn't look like it. So let's go see what's going on. Dried fish are a local staple. Oh, it's there. I suppose the villagers take turns standing watch. Alright, it's not live yet. Alright, can we go out then? Good grief, people. I did tell you I had a cold. <laughs> Saving will overwrite your current... Day. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's see a bit of the open world here then. To the 
encampment. This path Woohoo! This game has an autosave function, periodically saving your progress throughout the adventure. You can also save manually any time you like by clicking on the pad on the pause menu. Ready? That's not got a save thing on it, is it? Alright. Nice. Killing the bunny rabbits, people. Wow, looks pretty good. Very impressive. Considering it's a remaster and not a, a fresh game. Oh crap. Level two. When foes seem too much to handle, try gaining levels or obtaining better equipment. Thought there was something to pick up there, but no. Oh, that was far too close. Yes, it was. I'm called Reynard. Hello, Reynard. Salesman, though those damnable beasts ruined my wares. God damn them. But thanks to you, it was only wares I lost. I'll consider it a bargain. You have my thanks. You're very welcome, Reynard. Top fellow. You may see peddlers hawking their wares as you make your way around Gransis. They often come across rare items not found at more stationary shops. If you see a peddler, make sure to check out what they have to offer. We'll stick to the path for now. This road will have us to be in here much longer. A wealth of useful items can be found by vanquishing monsters or exploring the environment. Keep your eyes peeled. Let's have a little look at Wallow. You can see a full description of any item you possess by checking your inventory with the. Edible mushroom, consume it to recover stamina. Cures most physical dis debilit debilitations. Type of herb that grows throughout Grancis. Consume it to purge the body of poisons. Stamina. Health. Yeah. The green werish was health. As we thought. As are the berries. Shrooms. I can hear Goblin. goblins somewhere. There they are. Ooh, gold coins, shiny. Treasure. Shiny treasures. Oh, 
easy. This guy's put fire on my weapons, which is quite cool. Lots of shiny items all hidden. Bottled haste, no less. That's oh, a rock. I think we need to pick up a rock. A thousand? Flipping egg fire. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> I'll take that. from great heights can lead to injury or death. Be cautious. Hmm. Not sure how often it auto saves. Haven't been noticing. <clears throat> Plenty of berries in there. <laughs> Old Rook's picking up as much as he can get his hands on as well. Was ended by falling from too great a height. They do give you good advice though, to be fair, most of the time. I think the party can be up to four, if I remember rightly. Just like the beginning of the game. feeling there's some uh, lizardy things down here but I could be wrong I think you could put oil in empty flasks if I remember rightly <coughs> his token yeah sprinting is just stamina in the outside world but not in towns unusual beach strange name for a beach Another thousand. I like these chests. Danger lurks in the sea. Best not wait too deep, lest you become dead. Yeah, he's telling us not to go too close to the ocean, isn't he? <coughs> Something may grab us from there. I 
have a quick look around the other side here and then we'll make our way to the town, I think. I'll take that. Made hard work at that. <laughs> Can't hit a standing object. Need a pickaxe, and we don't have one. Take care by the water's edge, lest the brine take you. When you take damage, use curative items to replenish your health. Thank you, Rook. Pay heed to the markers that appear on the map. Or over the people you meet. Right. Let's get back up this path. This path should see us there. <laughs> nice. Prove too powerful, there is no shame in fleeing. And you do do it in this game. You can stumble into fights that are just well beyond you. This road will have us to the encampment here much longer. <laughs> Big bada boom. Come, Rook. Hey, Scotland flag. Nice. <laughs> I'm sure it's not, but like it. Oh, hello. Level up. The encampment. If memory serves. I know the way, Master. Follow me. Follow you, Rook. If you've forgotten where you are in the story, select Chronicle from the pause menu to review a history of your journey thus far. Have all you need? We are again first and foremost, but we offer more than a simple watch. I can't hear you, mate. <laughs> you can safeguard your belongings or aid in learning new skills. Have your pick, any you like. Learn or set skills, nice. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember this now. So you earn. You earn certain points that you can spend on DCP that you can spend on new skills, discipline, 204, right, so we can only afford one at the minute, which is the triad shot, fires three arrows in a wedge pattern, or... Daggers, biting wind, dashes past the target with blades extended, delivering slashes that can be followed with further attacks on contact. Uh, I think we'll go with the triad shot. And then you can then add it.
to triangle, I think. Oh, is that the one I just bought? Five. No, it's not. Triad shop. There you go. What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like. Come again soon. Discipline points can be spent to learn useful augments and skills. Skills and augments must be enabled in order to make use of them. Thank you. Could have done with that before I uh, <laughs> bought one, but anyway. Foreign knife. War bugle. Flask of oil. They're quite useful bits, actually. Warlock's draft. Flask of water. Free bees, nice. A rift oh, oh, <coughs> can you hear <coughs> We can. We speak to you from across great distance. The Horn Legion has awaited you. Pray, forgive this strange and impersonal greeting. This rift serves as a gate. It connects our kind to your world. It opens to the Arisen, for they possess a will powerful enough to guide the Legion. If you would claim to be among the Arisen, prove the strength of your resolve. Okay. Very well. Then we shall guide you in your trial. If you are an Arisen in truth, this humble task will prove no obstacle. The Arisen must possess the valor to stand against all threats and the power to quell them. A tireless spirit of self-improvement grants the strength to lead the Legion. Craig, show him now. Search the area. Select status from the pause menu to view details. <laughs> Mercedes, hey. Bet she likes to Benz. Eh? Hey, see what I did there? A riftstone. A strange power emanates from within. Hmm. Shall we search the area? If you've ought to ask, ask it of Captain Mercedes. I just did. She didn't say anything. Are you here to enlist with the Corps? Hmm. You have the stature for it to look at you. Uh, thank you. My French friend. Seems the soldiers make their beds there. Looks like part of a journal. I wonder whose. Hmm. Are you saying there was something in that I just picked up? That's not what I wanted, is it? Eh. Uh, where do you see all that sort of stuff then? I think there's a second menu here that I'm uh, forgetting about. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> an excerpt from uh, an excerpt torn from a traveller's daybook it outlines the author's decision to set out on a journey. Use. Okay, can't do anything with it. Keep going. The 
beast comes. Oh, oh. Ooh, big battle coming, people. There may be prowling monsters about. Uh, hello. Select a quest, take on. There you go. Uh, all manner of training opportunities are posted here. Successful completion of each earns base reward of 1,000 gold and 750 experience. Slay two seabirds. Evil underfoot, all manner of training, blah blah blah. Defeat seven phantasms. Uh, defeat 45 undead warriors. Uh, slay eight spiders, which would. Defeat three cyclopses. Cyclops, cyclopses. Cyclops, cyclops eye. <laughs> the irony. Irony. See what I did there? Right. Hmm. I thought there was a fight here. Let's see how we go. I may have gone out the wrong gate, people. Oh, no. There it is. Holy hellfire. They've got a cave troll. Oh, it's a cyclops. He's a big fella. Seem to be doing much that does it? Come on, love. Come on. <laughs> Body shot. Whoa. What? As you take damage, the amount of health you can recover through magic in the field also decreases. Should be taking an awful lot of damage off the guy. There we go. The beast is dead. <laughs> Close up of his feet. Obi Wan, is that you? Oh no, it's the Emperor. <laughs> was a close raid, that. Let us return to the encampment. Together with the cave troll, we will rule the universe. Oh, beast steak. There you go. Oh, it was exciting, wasn't it? Right. Uh... Yarp. That's where we started down here. That's a whole new journey up there. We're going to go back into the encampment now.
have another look about. Pretty sure we've, we can do stuff in here and get more people out of the rift. Hello. I fear we cannot yet join a covenant. Oh, hello. Oi there. In some time, hasn't it? Enough time to become well famous in your case. Well, it was only about 20 minutes ago, Reynard, but nice to see you too. Listen. <laughs> Tis the second coming of Duke Dragon's Bane, I dare say. I like it, friend. I like it well. Now, let us talk of business. You'd be a fool not to have a look at my way. Enhance. Alright. Yeah, I don't think we want to enhance those very much, do we? I do, we might be able to buy better weapons no, first. So. Throat cutters, 2,500. Ooh, strength from 86 to 140. It's most of our money, though. That goes up to 110 as well. Short bow, 600. Oh, we might be able to afford both. Oh, no, we can't. However, uh, maybe after I sell a couple of items, though. Might take the bow. I'm using the bow quite heavily, so let's do that. Nice. Let us talk of business. Sell the rusted boat. And might have some... How do you sell the... Oh, here we go. Foreign knife, 372. A deadly throwing knife introduced by the bandits of a foreign land. Well, I'll sell it for now because I need the money. Hunk of ore. I can't remember. I, I think I seem to remember you can pick up as much as you like in this game. I could be wrong, though. Rabbit pelts. Whoa, that rugged bone is well, that's worth nearly 2,000. I'll hang on to it though, because I don't know if it's got a better purpose. Spade will keep a relic from another age. War bugle. An instrument familiar to Grand Soren soldiers who rouse at its rev. Revere, reveal. Hang on to those as well for now. You never know. Oh, got a leather cape. Putting that on in a minute. And we can now buy. Now, let us talk of business. The daggers. Try and enhance one now, shall we? No. Let us talk of Sell the old ones first. Yeah, you can't actually sell what you've got equipped. I was mistaken from earlier on. No. Let us talk of 
Right, let's enhance something. So you need sometimes just money, but as you get more of it, you have to pick up certain things like that one needs second one needs a small fang. Then you need four cedar branches and so on. Copper ore. So we'll, we'll go with that for now though. Takes the strength up a bit. Throat cutters and take strength up in those. Nice. Now, let us talk of business. Give me. If you haven't sufficient materials on hand, the remainder will be automatically taken from your item storage. All right, cool. That's good then. Wow, check out the shiny daggers. And the nice new bow. Also, I'm pretty sure we had a cape we'd picked up, which I didn't notice. Yeah, check that out. Hey, it does alright. Takes our defences up to 111 and 112. Piercing resistance up to 3%. Sweet! Get in there, people. Regular Robin Hood, or Robinette Hood as it is. Right, people, that is probably an ideal place to wrap up part one of that. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll do plenty more of these along with Pillars of Eternity as well. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in this RPG that I'm forgetting the name of. <laughs> Dragon Dogma, Dark Arisen. And I shall see you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.